Uh, I know that it's a renewable energy uh, producing device. Yes. And uh, I know it's called the Anaconda. Yes. And it's uh, supposed to be competing with the Panamis system. Uh, yes. Yeah. With 2.3. Um, but 2.3 now. Well, it's the same as before, 2.27. 2.27. And the same as before, but bigger. The, the wave starts the team bulging, mm -hmm. and the bulge gets bigger and bigger, and at the end, you can take out the energy. Deep underwater, the waves are, are weaker. Yes. The waves in the sea are on the surface, not deep down. Okay. In the sea, what they're talking about is a five meter diameter tube. Wow. It's about the size of this room. Yeah. Or maybe seven meters. <laughs> uh, and 200 meters long. But wave energy is something practical. And it's, it's also very nice. You have small things, small team, three or four people. You can discuss, you can make a model, you can see some test it. small thing. Little pipes, mm -hmm. uh, resistance for air. I see. And the air is going in and out of here. Mm -hmm. It's being pumped in there. This mm -hmm. is where the energy is being collected. Okay. You have a kind of, uh, you can indirect measure the, mm -hmm. the circumference of the tube. By variable resistance. Yeah, yeah, variable okay. resistance, exactly. Okay. And uh, we have 10 of them, so here is the last 10 of them on the top. Mm -hmm. So um, you can also extract the bulge by speed. I see, yes. That's a different position. So, okay. And um, the other strain gauges are this blue one. Yes. They are in length direction, and we hope to measure with them uh, the movement. You have the movement, mm -hmm. you know the movement, yes. so you know again the, the power. Okay. The pressure and, and movement, you know the power. I see. I see. So we see. That must be the resonant frequency. What's the period? And this is also measurements. This is um, the bulge wave speed, yep. theoretical, mm -hmm. and measured. Yes. And if you are here on the 45 degree, mm -hmm. then it would be a perfect degree. Yes. So we are, we are close. This is um, the trouble is, the energy you get out over the year depends on the average wave, mm -hmm. which is maybe not very big. Yes. But sometimes there's a huge wave yes. which could break your equipment. Yes. So your equipment has to support, um, resist mm -hmm. the huge wave. Yes. That's expensive. And still produce. And then, but the energy you get out is for the average wave. <laughs> yes. And this is the main difficulty. Mm -hmm. There are very many wave machines that people have built and they've been broken. 